17 days late in your final semester of high school. Wow. 11 unexplained absences. 14 different counts of truancy. Whew. It even says here from your biology teacher, Logan is a disruptive and poorly composed student whose weak results in assessment tasks reflect his disorderly and unsatisfactory behavior in the classroom. I also read <laughs> from a reference from Pizza Hut, um, poor punctuality, lack of focus, and a lack of commitment to the simplest tasks. I mean, the only positive thing it says here is on occasion, Logan would bring in and cook party pies for the rest of the staff. <laughs> Logan, it seems that your behavioral records just don't meet up with our standards here. Do you understand how incredibly stupid it was of you to come into this real estate agency in such a high-end business and expect to get a job with that past of yours? <laughs> this year has been so much better for me. I've changed Miss Moore. Logan, it's fine. You're 18, I understand. You're just out of school. I mean, you're young. You're probably still partying with your friends. Now, this is a business. This is the real world. And in the real world, there's no party pies and unicorns. I have people here who love to sell homes. I need people who love their job more than their own lives. That's what I believe in. I'd love to give you a job. But why would I help someone who doesn't want to help themselves? I mean, do you even know what your passion is yet? Well, I haven't really figured all that out yet, but I guess it would be a really good opportunity to show my parents, myself, and even Look, you the change that's happened inside. Logan, that's all lovely, but I think it's time to leave now. I met Jesus. What'd you say? <laughs> I met Jesus. I beg your pardon? Do you think you can talk about religion to get a job, or are you wasting my time? I suggest you leave before things get worse. I was walking back to my hotel room after a schoolies party late last year. I was very drunk and very depressed. I don't remember how I got to the party or where it even was, but I definitely remember the walk back. I was alone and stumbling all over the place, like really bad. And this dude pulled up over next to me. And I guess he saw me stumbling over the place like a blind man because he pulls up over next to me and he asks me, before you become the next news headline, jump in my car and I'll take you home. Once we got home, he stops the car and he looks at me. He doesn't ask me, he says to me, you lost your sister to leukemia two years ago. And your dad said he wished it was you dead instead of her. I ran out of the car sprinted straight across the street to a tree and I started vomiting. I was yelling and I was crying and it was ugly. After a minute or two, <laughs> the dude walked up over next to me and he hugs me. I pushed him away and I told him that he was crazy. And I said, how did you know this? And he tells me that God was speaking to him on the car trip home. God. I started to freak out and he hugs me again. He tells me that God loves you and he didn't take away your sister. And God only wants to give you good gifts. I suddenly felt this weird tingling sensation around my body and I wasn't drunk anymore. I suddenly felt sober. After that, I asked him if I could meet this God and right there on that street, he prayed for me. I met Jesus. I woke up with joy this morning. I even came to this interview on time and I'm gonna leave with joy because ever since that night I've been devouring the Bible and these promises that I've been reading are real and ever since I've started believing that I've become a new person. I'm not the Logan that you read on that report. I'm not what my biology teacher says that I am. I'm not the person who I was at my old job 
I don't drink anymore. I'm not depressed anymore. I have forgiven my father. There's something different in me. And if I did get this job, I think you would see that. That was good. That was a good film. It was a good film. So this film was actually inspired by some of the miracles that we've seen in our life. So we want you to let us know if you've seen any miracles in your life. Leave a comment. We'd love to hear about it. Also, guys, if you haven't already checked out our Patreon page, you need to do that. Links in the description. Yep. Guys, our next short film is going to be coming out very soon. Best one yet. You don't want to miss this one. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure that you click the notification bell so you yep. don't miss it when it comes out. Make sure you leave a comment. We like to reply to pretty much every single comment there is. So if you want to get a reply, leave a comment. But yeah, stay tuned for our next short film. We'll see you guys soon.